Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a CV2 teleporter. So, the first thing you want to do, I'm getting you a POV. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the backpack and you want to get your maker pin. Your maker pin is the way you can actually spawn down all the circuits. So, you can hit use on your maker pin, which is spawning right in front of you, or you can just pull it from your back. So, once you get your maker pin, you want to pull it open. No, they changed this instead of saying wires connect. So let's get onto this. So the first thing you want to do is I'm gonna show you on the I'm gonna show you right over here because I spawned them all in. This is the system. So if you don't want to see, it's all right here. It teleports you wherever this vector gadget is. So it teleported me there. Can we look at this over there? Teleports me over to it. Okay, so I'll move this out the way. Okay, so the first thing you want to get is your button. Button right there. Get your get position next to the button right there. Get your set position. And vector component. We're going to do this in stages. So this is stage one. Stage two, stage three, and stage four. So let's go on to the first stage. So I'll add the event to gadget right there. Okay, so there's the vector component right there. So there we go. So when button is pressed, let's hook it up to the set position execution. That wasn't on a different system, but basically, we'd hook that up there. The position of the get position, so the this vector. So basically, I'll show you it and then I'll explain why it does this. And then the target, hook it up to the vector component top. Can't really remember what we call these, but there's something with the circuiting, and um, this works so. I'm gonna show you. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to wire that in. It does work. See, now it works. Okay, so now I'll explain why it does this. Okay, so basically, when the button is pressed, the execution from the button being pressed gets sent over to this, this chip right here the target of the set position so it wants to set the position of the target which is the player that pressed the button the position will be found by the get position the target of it will be your vector component this could be anything with a um any type of gadget with a little top thing has to be cb2 get though it cannot be any other gadget you can do this with other components and hit components I know how to find only oh yeah circuit circuit components is every single CB2 thing so let's say you want it to be found by the seat if you want it to teleport over to the seat you can remove this get your connect hook it up to the target of the seat it will work every single time. So now you know how to make a CB2 teleporter. The circuits are right here. This is the machine that is the basic, and this is the one we made. The CB2 teleporter is very useful for CB2 users, such as if you want to, you can hook it up to a delay chip. So when the exit, exit so when the button gets pressed, it say it gets sent to a delay chip. I'll show that to you. As you can see here, we're gonna spawn down a delay chip. We're gonna exit the when the button is pressed. We're gonna make it run.
There we go. So it went spot and first. After the delay, you would hook it up to the set position. The set position thing. And then once it's in the set position, um, you want to set the value. And which is seconds, not um, little things. So let's say you want it to teleport the play after five seconds. And with that delay, the five second delay, you can get a sound effect chip or sound effect gadget and make it run that one with it. So once it to play the sound effect, and after that delay, it'll do it. So when you want the sound effect, you now you can figure, configure it. And let's say you want to do. Blue team scores. The blue team scores. You can press it. Blue team scores. And after a second, it teleports you. There's so many things you can do with this. And with your this thing is makes opens up very big possibilities. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next one. Blue team scores.